welcome to the Creative Visionaries podcast. My name is Tori Barker, a digital marketing specialist, business owner, mom, and you guessed it, a creative visionary. This podcast is about inspiring business owners, building connections, sharing success stories, and motivating others. Join me on this journey as we tap into your true potential and unleash your inner visionary. We are back again for another episode of the Creative Visionaries podcast. And today I have the pleasure of introducing you to our guest, Chris Miller. Chris Miller is the owner of Healthy Money, Happy Life, and she is a legacy wealth strategist. She's helped clients learn to create incomes that they will never outlive and has helped over 6,000 families avoid financial disaster by strategically planning for their future. Chris is the author of a number one bestseller, Ready for Pretirement, Three Secrets for Safe Money and a Fabulous Future, and she's a highly sought after speaker and trainer for companies like Citibank. Chris, welcome on the podcast. Yay. Thanks, Tori. It's a blessing to be here. So (laughs) tell us a little bit about you and how you got into this world of legacy wealth and, and, and how you started your business. Well, it all started 30 years ago. As a paralegal, I was working with an attorney and we were working on a living trust for a little widow. And all she had was a a car and a house and no money. And in 1991-92, he wanted to charge her $5,000 for a trust. And I just, you know, when she was out of the room, I looked at him. I said, hey, could you give her a deal? And he looked at me like, ice and said no and i said okay and that's how i started my business because i wanted a business with heart and compassion and so my goal was to beat the market was to break the market and there was a spell upon the world that only attorneys could make living trusts living trusts have been around since the middle ages it's not a new thing but at the time that's you know it was a uh, a breakthrough because people were under a certain oppression so I'm one of the first people in Southern California to do workshops on the difference be- what is a living trust and, and we did we broke the market and we got the prices down got down so much I couldn't even raise my price <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good and now what happened Tori is that you know during and it's not that I'm so smart but after 30 years you start to see a pattern so people would come into my office. I've looked at, and probably 7,000 more, right? Thousands of portfolios. And what happened is people would come into my office to start their retirement plan at 60, right? Yeah. 70, 80. Like, what is wrong with this picture? Oh, you go to school, learn how to make money, get out of school. What do you do? Go make money and give it to somebody else to gamble. And what I saw was the stock market was like a roulette wheel, like watching it recently, right? One minute it's up and the next minute it's down and everybody feels the bottom's going to fall out. I hate that feeling. I like safety. I want to know my money's going to be there. So I saw the folks that didn't have any kind of a plan when the, when it, when they were, it was really about when they retired, was it going to be up or down? And when it was down, that, that decade for those people was so sad you know they had to get a second job they had to change their lifestyle and they really couldn't even retire so that's that's really what got me started so you're known as a uh, legacy wealth strategist what is a legacy wealth strategist well I look at the whole picture I'm not just trying to sell a product I'm looking at a whole plan and I'm looking at legacy now most people think of legacy of what are you gonna leave behind but I look at legacy as a living legacy what are you leaving behind daily how do you treat everybody right it's a state of mind but with that how does that manifest inside of your business how do you handle your business how do you how do you store your money where are you gonna put it so it's gonna be there when you need it so I look when I do financial fitness strategies with people I hop on the phone and I ask them their age their health their wealth their goals and then I look at the whole picture and create a plan and basically what I'm showing you is what I own I I'm not in the stock market I only do safe money strategies so I basically just share what really I've been successful with and 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 it's a it's a joy 
So is there an ideal time in somebody's life or age that they should start planning or there's no sooner to start or <laughs> there's no sooner to start your age right yes <laughs> as you, you know as young as you can because especially now my genera you know my generation the older folks right leaving a nightmare a big a disaster the, and and it is it's really all the participants a really age thing but the way that they're what they're going to do with the taxes and the money and the inflation and all of that this is the time you got to take time out of your life. And what people do is they're just so busy working and then they make money and they put it back in their business. But they have to be consistent about saving for their fabulous future and their things that they can access tax-free income. They don't even know about it. So there's a learning curve there. Yeah, for sure. I know, you know, like like myself, I'm in my 30s and, you know, before starting my own business, I was in the corporate world and we always had, you know, when you onboarded or every year, you know, let's look at your 401k. Let's look at, you know, how do you want to do this with your money? Where do you want to, how much do you want to take out for your taxes? And I was always like, I have no idea. I don't know right. what to do. And then started my own business. And now I'm like, I think I need a financial advisor or somebody because right. it feels like yeah. there's so much that I'm missing or that I don't know. And then even, you know, becoming a homeowner and then, you know, having kids and like everything as you get older just compounds that, you know, more of the need for doing that sort of thing and planning for the living exactly. trust and estate plans and that sort of thing. So are there like key things that you need to like that you can start with or where do you start when you kind of get into this process where you realize okay I need to do something where do I start right well you got to dedicate you know maybe on Sunday or something dedicate some time you know read my book or re learn about what I'm talking about and it's different than giving your money to a stockbroker who you hope they're going to gamble so in answering your question your age is perfect and you have to be able to save the money in a place that's going to be there when you need it. I had a client, he was 38, he put $500 a month in one of these um, index universal life that creates tax-free income and at mm, his retirement age he was set to get 80 to 100,000 tax-free for life. That's right, for life, tax-free. Now in this situation what's clobbering and beating everybody up is going to be the taxes, stagflation, and and really no growth with the money. So people are literally losing money right now, and they don't really realize it. And and they and it's nobody's fault. There's no judgment because we weren't taught this. None of us were taught this. So how are you going to figure out your 401k? You don't know. Nobody taught you, and and they don't know that a 401k is a big tax bomb. So someone thinks, oh, well, and I'll just use a number. I have 100000 in my 401k. Uh, well, that you really don't. You know, if you're in the 40% tax bracket, you've got 60000 Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and you know the, we're at the lowest taxes now. They're all going up with all of these printing money things that are going on. These taxes are going up, and the new laws that just changed are going to hit all of us. There isn't just the wealthy. It's hitting, going to be hitting all. So the taxes are going to go up. So the value of the money is less. So now that you have inflation, there's a, you want to get your money in a place where you don't have market risk, where you have the growth of the market, and you get out of the taxes. So it's creative planning. It's like I said, it's a whole picture. It isn't like I'm just going to sell you a product, but it's right. how all these things work together, right? Have you looked at your business expenses recently, specifically credit card processing fees? Do you understand what all of those fees are? As we get closer to 2023, now is a great time for businesses in every industry to take stock of their expenses. PolyPay is a payment processing services provider working with customers all over the U.S. and in various industries. A 15-minute conversation can put your business on the path to saving money with the customer support you deserve. Learn more about the benefits of PolyPay by visiting creativemarketingaffiliate.com. 
you know, you talk about your financial future and, you know, for me, I'm thinking like, if I, if I see what's happening now and, and what's happened in the last five, 10 years since I've been, you know, aware of (laughs) needing, needing to plan financially, just imagine when I'm in my sixties or when I'm at the age of retirement, how different taxes are going to be, how different laws are going to be. There's so many variations and then my kids, right? Like the, the legacy for my kids and taking care of everything from my end for, for my passing and, and making sure that everything is, is easy for my kids. Um, Absolutely. So that fu- the yeah. financial future, there's so many moving parts and, and there's variables because the years, right? There's so much that can change over one year, two years, 10 years, 20 years. <laughs> so right. it's hard right. to, to think about that. But having somebody like you who can kind of help with that big picture, I think is, is what gives people um, a little peace of mind. Yes, and peace of mind is really the value of the money right because when you have enough you you know when you that it gives you peace knowing that you're going to have it you don't have to think about it and worry about it is it going to be up or down so that's why i'm only in safe money because when i first got started they wanted me to oh yeah you know tori you need to buy this stock and i'm like um i don't want it i can't do that i don't want i hate that model I don't yeah. want risk. So I can't say, you need to buy this, but I don't want it. I have to have integrity. I got to meet my maker clear. I got to say, this is it. This is what I own, and I'll show you how it works. Yeah. So I've had what I've had for 30 years. And there's some blessing about having longevity because I can, when you're 20, you can't realize what you're 40. When you're 40, what's 60 going to be like? And then what about 80 and 100? And plan for 100 or 120. Seriously, that's how you look. And that's how you kind of gain a longevity planning inside of yourself. So you're looking at your kids. You're looking at making sure you have guardianship. Mom and dad go out to dinner. Don't come back. Who's going to take that care of the kids? So when you're 20 and 30, you don't think you're... I didn't think I was going to die. I thought, you know, right? Right. And so that's why it's important to have your trust in those documents to say just in case, because we're in a really weird world right now, that my kiddos are going to be safe. And then inside of that, you're going to stipulate, this is what I want to have happen. If something happened, gives you peace. And then you can do the same kind of planning with way less money for the kids in the future because they have 40 50 years of tax deferral yeah. you know and these interest rates are like in IULs you know are like 9 to 11 12 percent in the last 30 years they actually kind of keep up with inflation because they're more on the bond side of things um, there's lots of different programs that I use but it but they're age different driven and you have to have you know some have health some don't have health so it's creative planning and it's so important right now because we are in a money 911 world yes. right <laughs> the name of my podcast <laughs> but they're changing the money system before our eyes and people don't realize this but uh, December 13th or something there the feds are creating a digital currency and all of this, you know, blockchain was just the beginning of it. But the governments are going to take it over. They're not going to let everybody have a party too long. And so even those things are volatile. Really, basically, it's all volatile. Yeah. But there are places where you can store your money where it's safe, where you never lose your principal. So if you put in 100000 you always have 100000 It yeah. doesn't go up and down with the market. You know, that's what I explain in detail because I actually give people their own individual class designed for them in a financial fitness strategy where I I teach people. And this is what I saw, Tori, that really got my heart was people are so disempowered around their money. I spent more time in my, you know, life (laughs) coaching people about their mindset around their money because they beat themselves up or they don't save and I don't know anything. I don't want to know anything. Yeah. So, so much of it is mindset. And then when you click into that mindset, you're empowered. You know where your money is. 
Like people come into my office and I go, well, where's your, your 401k? And they go, hmm, I, oh, well, Merrill Lynch, I don't know where it is, right? <laughs> people really don't know. And a lot of people don't even want to look. When the market goes down, I don't want to look. You know, it's like looking off a cliff. That's not a good way to live. You want peace of mind. You're leveraging your business. You're reaching out to lots of people. So that gives you a strong platform to know that you'll always have a paycheck coming to you for life. Yeah. And you talk about safe money. So what is safe money? Is that just how you um, how you use it, where you put it? Can you go into a little bit more explanation sure. about what that is? That's healthy money. So it's like planting a seed in the garden. I have a backyard full of gophers. And, you know, everything you put in there, it's gone. Right? You got to <laughs> put a little... Not good for your garden. <laughs> not good for the veggies. So, you know, you put a little screen, which is what I had to do, and then they can't get it. You yeah. see them coming up. No. Right? <laughs> well, that's the same thing with your money. You put a bottom on your money. So the products that I use, all the products I use, you never lose your principal. So... Depending on what your age is, would be the product that I would recommend to you. Your age is, is what I call investable life insurance. So you can use the death benefit, why you are alive for income. It also has long-term care, catastrophic illness, protection. And I think we might have gotten a little woken up about this during the pandemic. It used to be 7 out of 10 of us over 65 would need a nursing home. But now, after the pandemic, I'd say 9 out of 10. Meaning, none of us have health insurance that will cover it. Yeah. Most bankruptcies are for medical expenses. So this is like a catastrophic thing that you've got to wrap around. It's so important. You need to have what I call the three secrets for safe money. Protection of assets from probate, conservatorship, guardianship, powers of attorney. That's your living trust. Protection of assets from the Great Recession, maybe depression. We're really, we're really on an edge here. Safe money and protection from catastrophic illness. We're living in a pandemic world and I don't think it's over. The powers that be are pushing all kinds of different agendas to create this one world currency and health system and money system and all of that. And that's really what's why there's these two forces right now at war. It's almost like the war between good and evil, honestly. True. Yeah. Right? And so you've got to get smart you've got to be your own government you've got to be your own social security you've got to take power take charge understand your money and the iul actually lets you use you can take the taxes off your qualified money in it what's called an ira reboot with these and what the, you know just cut to the chase real simple you can actually Pay the taxes of your 401k with the death benefit so you're not writing an out-of-pocket check. Then that converts all your 401k into tax-free income for life. Yeah, some very cool things, very creative planning that is not mainstream. And that's why I'm broadcasting, right? Because a lot of little people are going to go off a cliff if they don't learn these things because they've you know, I just saw your audience. I say, look in your portfolio now. Where where do you think your money is? 95% of most people's money is in risk. Yeah. Pay attention, you guys. And maybe a very small percent even have a rainy day money in cash. <laughs> very important to have. I mean, I don't care who you are. You need to have rainy day money that's available that's not invested. And you'd be shocked how most people don't even have that. And it seems like this would be even more important now on top of everything else that you've mentioned, but a lot of people are going off and starting their own businesses and entrepreneurship is huge. And so, right. you know, you don't have the structure of uh, a corporate uh, entity or, you know, any of these other things to help you invest your money in certain ways. And, and obviously you don't have the education and the knowledge that uh, how to have safe money, right? So these, exactly. these new business owners and, and entrepreneurs, I think they too need this education and, 
and um, to be, you know, advised by somebody like you who can help them so that they're making wise financial decisions as they're taking risk in their business. Exactly. So you have a balance of safety as you're moving forward in the risk. And you always have that to fall back on. And, and, and that's what I help people do is to create a plan and that plan will automatically set you up to take that certain amount and fund your fabulous future put the put the extra whatever percent fits the plan so you're automatically have your safe money sitting there growing like I said I started mine 30 years ago I didn't really know what I was doing but I had a gut level feeling of I don't like risk and I don't like losing money so I did a, a lot of different equity index annuities, uh, different kind of plans where I actually created an income. So when I got to 60 or 62, I would take income and then I take it at 65. Then I, and, and I could literally set up when I would get income. You can literally set up with an IUL, depending on your health and age and wealth. You could retire at 50. You, you can design this for your life. That's why it's not a one-size-fits-all. Yeah. And then I show you how that fits for you. And you do this through workshops with your clients or, or tell us I do, that? yes. I've been doing workshops, and my favorite thing is, you know, speaking. I do now a lot of webinars. Um, I go to corporations, uh, banks, civic, you know, civic groups, um, churches, all kinds of different groups and speak. And a lot of online, you can invite me to your, your corporation. I do that. And, and then we have programs that I'm broadcasting out. I've got my uh, Money 911 podcast. Yes. And then if you really want to dial it in, hop on for financial fitness strategy session. Guess what? I don't charge for that. I know people say I'm crazy. I really could make a lot more money than I have because I give a lot away. Why? Because I think there's a value in giving that's unseen and I and that's blessed my life. Yeah. So I share a lot of I could share, you know, like a financial fitness strategy. I hop on, takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I get your age, get your health, how old are your kids? Then I research. Then I come back on and I give you a class. Then I send you everything that I've researched in good faith right yeah. then you read it and you can study it and then ask questions and and I don't charge for that that's financial fitness then you have then you can start learning and have an understanding and get inspired like hey uh, this is a good idea I need to start taking so much from what I'm making and put it in my safe money pile yeah. and then I have my rainy day you know emergency pile and then I have my business pile right and and your little piles of money and you get excited about it you know yeah. and, right <laughs> and do you do you um what's your business model because i mean for you you're very i can tell you're very giving and and wanting to help and and of service and doing what's good for other people and what's best for other people so do you help them along this journey how does that work like you do yes. this financial fitness and then you help them put a plan in place and then do you meet with with your clients on a regular basis to make sure that everything is going well and, and I do. hold their hand a little bit make sure that they feel safe yeah. <laughs> i do because i'm so glad you asked me that question that's you know there's a couple models that i really never liked the way that the attorney model was so i create you know my own document preparation service as an lda i'm a legal document assistant and um, and the model, you know, is user friendly. So, like I said, if you work with me, I'm with you for life. I'm a widow. Okay. So, it's really nice. And I've talked to a lot of widows and widowers that have nobody. So, I call, you know, I check on them every year because, you know, these, these plans are really low maintenance. The, their indexes inside of them are, are managed. And we just have to do a couple things every year and I check in on them I make myself available for life most people that do what I do they're gone they sell you a product and they're gone your broker gets you in a thing but is he calling you and saying hey we're losing it now this bottom's falling out of the market let's they don't do that they make money holding your money they make money moving your money they make money even when you're not doing anything 
So unless it's some family friend, which, you know, some people get attached. Well, he's been my broker for 20 years. Yeah, but you lost $200,000. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe, you know. Maybe so it's time to move on. Though. Yeah, maybe it's time to get a second opinion. Like, I'm a second opinion like a doctor, right? Yeah. You want to get second opinions. A doctor says, we're going to take your heart out. You got to get two or three opinions, right? <laughs> You're like, I think I need that. So I think right. I'm going to get another opinion. I think so. Right. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I like to make it happy and fun. Healthy money, happy life. Because people have such fear and such dread. So like I said, everybody waits till they're about to retire to start. And they're so scared about the money to topic. Even people that want to talk to me, you know, it's like, they kind of put it off and, you know, like, it's a hard thing. Yeah. Do it now. You guys, we're at the, we're at the top of, the thing is falling. Bye-bye. The okay? ball is falling out. <laughs> right. The London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> really. And Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, right? <laughs> and, and. There won't be a way to pick back the pieces. That's part of the plan because the, the plan that's being initiated is basically a control system and, you know, and you're the little worker bees. So you got to get free of that by learning there are alternative paths to what you're being told all the time that are happy and healthy and, and they'll make you and your family feel good because you're safe, right? Yes. Yeah, for sure. And, and, you know, there's so many resources that you've mentioned, you know, that you have your book and you have a podcast and, and I'm sure your website has resources that people can can uh, take advantage of. And, you know, any any other advice that you would would give somebody who's thinking about getting started and, and having this conversation around financial freedom and legacy wealth where what are those kind of final thoughts that you would give us well thank you. I, you i'm a resource so pick my brain hop on my calendar meet with chrismeller.com and do a financial fitness strategy session take off an hour of your week and start learning what i'm talking about and in the call i'm going to send you a bunch of things for you to learn I also have some evergreen webinars. So you, if you're interested in, in seeing some of the, the content that I have, you know, so you can get, because it's kind of hard to wrap around the language and what is it, how does it all work. You know, the webinars walk you through it really simple. That was my goal, was to make it easy for the average person to understand all this. So you can reach out to me at Chris, K-R-I-S, at healthymoneyhappylife.com. I'm sure you have all that info later but and i'll send you the links to videos then you could watch the video and then set up a financial fitness strategy session and then ask me those questions so you're navigating right if you don't if you wait you're going to be navigating through a storm you're not going to know how to do it and if you ask me because i study money we're it's like a hurricane it's the calm before the storm and some big financial planners said the same thing. So, you know, I didn't make this up. The, the guys that are watching the money that are honest know and speak that. And we're right in that calm before the storm. And the first part of the storm is lighter than the last part. And, and I think we're all going to get that last part, too, unless we start making radical changes here. So reach out. Um, I have videos that you're welcome to. I have them. Um, Money 911 podcast, and I'm happy to help you any way I can. Yeah, and we'll definitely include um, more information in the, the description and links that people can uh, easily access to get in touch with you and, and start having that conversation. Don't fear money, don't fear finances, and you know, start planning today. So, Chris, thank you so much for being a guest today and sharing all of this knowledge and information. And this, I'm sure, is just a, a tip of the iceberg on, right. on the information that we all need to learn around finances. So I highly recommend uh, you guys give Chris a call, uh, shoot her over a, a message on her website or any of her social media sites and uh, get in touch and start planning for your future. Thank you, Tori. I really appreciate it. And we'll put the phone number in there, too. You can call anytime. You know, some people don't give their phone number. If you don't mind, I'll give my phone number, 951-926-4158. You know, if you want to speed dial the whole thing. And 
again, Tori, thank you. It's been a pleasure and honor to be with you and uh, all your, your guests here, too. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to the Creative Visionaries podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe, leave us a review, or share with a friend. Also, make sure to visit us online at creativevisionariespodcast.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And stay tuned for more episodes to come. And remember, it's time to tap into your true potential and unleash your inner visionary.